What's going on guys? Kevin here to bring you a brand new video today. For today we are going to be going over the movie for day 11 of Horror October that we watched last night. Um, and the movie that we're going to be going over today is Village of the Damned. Right there. That one. And that's the kid right there. I keep like I keep like doing this thing with my camera where like it's backwards. So I think I'm going like left and it's actually like the other way on the camera. It, it's weird. But anyways, yeah, Village of the Damned. Man, um, all I gotta say is I completed this collection um, that my friend gave to me and I'm really happy they gave it to me um, because it has all these movies from John Carpenter really gr great director who's directed some of my favorite movies such as The Thing, Halloween, They Live, um, among others, Escape from New York. Anyways, um, I wanted to watch this film because last Horror October I didn't watch it and it was one of those that I kind of missed out on and I was like, man, I really wish, I, I really want to watch this so I can say I completed this collection and I did. And that's probably really the only good thing that came out of this, to be honest, because this movie sucked ass cheeks, guys. Oh my god. It was so bad. So bad. So bad. I think this movie is worse than Ghost Team. I'm gonna say that right now. Just gonna throw that out there. I was really thinking about it a lot, and I was like, what makes this movie so bad? And I just, I had trouble really putting my finger on it, and I feel kind of shitty because, like, I'm not, like, a big, like, film critic, and I don't, like, dissect movies and have, like, um, d diverse, like, vocabulary to, like, describe a movie. So, like, it's kind of hard for me to say to like really pinpoint why this movie sucked but I'll say the good stuff first I'll say that it's not completely unwatchable I was mildly invested in it throughout and invested enough to you know be interested in what would happen throughout the course of the movie even though the movie was total shit all the way through like I was interested in what was happening at least so the movie has that going for it, but that's not really saying much. Um, and you know, I was into it enough to the point where I said, okay, I'll finish this. But with that being said, um, I also watched this late at night and I nearly fell asleep to it. I was really close to falling asleep to it. And, but I said, no, no, not this time. You have to power through it. And even though the movie just has so many dull moments, um, let's get into the issues this movie has. Um, I think the biggest glaring issue of this movie is that it attempts to be like super serious of a movie and also attempts to be like scary and just totally like fails at it, at being like scary at all and doesn't have any like humor to, you know, like Ghost Team had to at least, like, offset it. Like, there's no humor whatsoever in this movie. It's all just seriousness and trying to be scary, which it totally fails at. Um, and the, the times where it tries to be scary... So, so this movie attempts to be scary with its whole narrative that it spins, which is just... Um, conceptually, it's, like, not too bad. I mean, it, it has, like, the potential to be, like, an okay movie, um, to be, it has like the potential to be like a good film if it was really executed properly. So I do also have to give it credit for that, that like conceptually it is kind of interesting a little bit, even though like it's hard to really think that when you're just watching a piece of garbage all the way through. But with that being said, this movie is basically about, um, oh my God, this is so hard to explain. I'm trying not to cringe while I explain this. Um, 
this thing happens where a bunch of people pass out and they didn't die from it nope and as a result the women who passed out get pregnant and have these kids which are like abnormal kids um, and they're like they're like basically like different like species um, that are trying to essentially become like the su su superior race um, they're almost like aliens I guess and I don't know they talk really weird um, every line of dialogue they have is so cringy like the way they talk and it's so fucking weird um, they don't like show emotion and they're only like um, goal is to like kill all humans basically and like that's what they do is just kill humans like okay and like how they do it is they have like eyes that can like mind control people <sighs> nah! so hard to explain um, so they use their eyes to like mind control people into doing these different things um so like they use their eyes to like mind control people into killing themselves or to hurting themselves um usually it's to like kill themselves and and that makes it so like they don't look like the killers um but the reason why this movie isn't scary is because every time it tries to be scary it's always at a time when like they're showing like these flashing eyes and it's just like these kids just staring at the adults with these like flashing red eyes I'm like okay I mean that's not scary I mean I not scared by that and then like the person like shoots him with himself with a shotgun or like the guy like drives into a gas tank with a truck I'm like okay that's what happened wow he died oh my god mm -hmm. he died okay he died god damn it and you know a lot of the time like john carpenter like can make a movie good like with his score alone but like even this movie's score is kind of lacking i gotta say for a John Carpenter movie like it, it is like kind of okay like it's not like a bad score but it's also not like anything remotely exciting compared to like movies like The Thing and Halloween like it's just it's just so like disappointing I'd say and uh, last but not least like the actors in this movie are um, generally pretty bad I'd say like Christopher Reeve like he's great in Superman but man he is not good in this movie I really freaking hated him for the most part in this movie um like he's not like the worst actor I've ever seen in a movie but like but like it, it's pretty bad it's pretty bad I gotta say and like uh, the most like notable part is at the end when um oh yeah this is like another part of the plot so like because the kids can like mind control the adults what the adults do to stop them is they like think of something like an ocean or in this case at the end a brick wall so that they can't like see through their head and so like at the end of the movie <sighs> This is like the retarded climax of the movie. And it just like ends all of a sudden and I'm like, really? That's it? So the whole ending of the movie is that he gets like this dynamite in this barn rigged to explode so that it kills all the, you know, children, whatever they were. Um, so he has to make it so they don't like figure out that it was dynamite. So he's like thinking of a brick wall so they won't read his mind and but then like the kids start to like use their powers to try to like break through 
to to his secret they like they like start like activating the powers and they begin to like chip away at the brick wall and you see like the brick wall in his head start to break and then like they get inside at the last second and they see the dynamite inside the briefcase but it was too late because the briefcase was already set to explode at that very time and it exploded and killed all of them like whoa Oh my god. But Christopher Reeve, like in this scene, when he's like when he's like getting like um like mind controlled on, like he's trying to like stop them, but as he's getting mind controlled on, like they're trying to like get through to his head so they can figure out that, that he has dynamite in the briefcase. And he's just like Oh, 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 oh. Oh, like he's just like so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I mean it's kind of funny when you think about it, but like at the time I was just like what is this? Also, middle-aged Mark Hamill as a priest is also really fucking cringy and not good at all. I'm going to say that right now. Yeah. Um, and supposedly, like, this one kid, like, didn't have, like, a mate because one of them was, like, a stillborn. So he didn't have, like, a mate, and as a result of that, he was supposedly different from the rest of the group. Like, I'm trying to, like, talk sense into this movie, but the more I try to, like, say it out loud, I'm just, like, like, whatever. Like, I don't even know. Anyways, um, yeah, pretty bad movie overall, um, but uh, now I can say I've watched uh, a fair amount of John Carpenter's films. Uh, there's only like a couple, like two or three John Carpenter movies I haven't watched yet, so so I got that going for me, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to rate this film a 2.1 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it that. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video though. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, one last thing that I do want to note is that this film is indeed a remake of an original film called Village of the Damned. And I gotta say, like, it's pretty sad the fact that John Carpenter was able to remake the thing. And did amazing with it but this one you just totally missed on it and you just you just hate to see it